What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new robot Fafnir on the test of a weekend here. Uh, this weekend, I mean. Uh, we have here this description. You can stop this and resume and pause and read if you like. I'm gonna summarize this for you. The Fafnir is from the Evolve Technology brand. It's a shapeshifter. Similar to the Fenrir and Loki, it also comes from the same mythology. Uh, and uh, here it is, that means it has two different modes, similar to those both robots. You have a flight mode and a running mode, or walking mode, okay? And uh, this thing looks pretty awesome, by the way. Look how this thing looks. It has a little bit of a similarity of a, from a Fenrir, right? And it is very similar to that, uh, but on top of that, it can, uh, it can do this. Boom! Oh man, look, look, it unfolds wings and flies. And you gain an absorber shield for five seconds after flying. But the thing is, I can now fly as long as I want to with this thing, but um, you lose weapons. Look, I only have two weapons active. The other weapons are now deactivated, okay? So there's a clear disadvantage in flying. And there are more. You have, let me describe the robot first on the ground, okay? On the ground, you have uh, resistance Bypass. You have 200 points. Look, this guy is currently leeching. He's currently leeching me and I'm deleting him like nothing. Because I have resistance bypass. I bypass the resistance on the ground. Now I even have overdrive. Um, and that's pretty crazy. Uh, so a robot that would otherwise be very dangerous to you uh, with their resistance, you can just grill them down. Another leech right here. I'm killing him. No problem. See that? Those were leeches with leech ability active that didn't do them any good. So on the ground, you have all four weapons, you have resistance bypass, and you have resistance yourself. Yes, I'm not even joking. You have resistance and you have resistance bypass. You have all this while you're on the ground. And your full firepower of four medium weapons. When you're activating flight, you gain a five seconds uh, absorber shield, okay? And you lose two of your weapons. And on top of that, you lose your resistance too. You no longer has have resistance. So you're a very quick and easy kill by the enemy when you're flying and your absorber shield is gone. Because that absorber shield is only there for five seconds, okay? It's only gonna be there for five seconds. Why are you guys only like all hanging out on the What is going on? This is such a weird match. Look, this is a team deathmatch match. The entire enemy team is sitting behind the wall there. So I knew he was gonna try and do this. And I'm gonna laser and delete him real quick. There we go. There comes another one. Okay, lasering him down. It's a hell burner. Okay, and it was a hell burner. Boom! The firepower of four heavy uh, medium weapons paired with uh, resistance ignore and uh, and resistance himself. Can somebody heal me? That would be awesome. Because I could really use some healing now. And by the way, the new weapon you see me using here is the hell weapon. It deals full damage at max range. I don't know why it does that. I like I I think that's that's odd. I don't think it should be dealing full damage at full at max range. Uh, it should be more like Scourge where it loses some firepower. Look how fast he's gonna die now. When his Oh, he's got the drone that gives him another absorber shield. But that's only very temporary. And then he's got the phase shift. Any more stall time a bit. Oh, then he's got an instant heal pulse. And this guy wants to die, he told me. I'm activating my absorber shield in flight. And so he couldn't kill me. Uh, here's another thing that I didn't tell you yet. Uh, the Fa Fafnir actually gets a... Um, gets the ability to ignore uh, Titan uh, resistance too. It deals increased damage to Titans. 200% damage to Titans. And on top of that, it gets a built-in weapons against Titans. I don't, I don't actually w know how exactly that works. But I know it gets a Titan... Uh, oh, God, uh, nice, I'm getting healing now. Unfortunately, I already lost two weapons, so it's a bit late, but... Better ladder than never. Okay, he's gonna try and explode me. Here, I have a built-in weapon, but it only has 350 meters range, and that's a bit of a problem. So I can't actually test it against the Ao Ming. Okay, he's coming now with a Hellburner. We should be able to get him killed before he gets to me. Yep, nice. And I got healing, so let me see if I can get in 350 meters range of this Titan. Okay, this guy is currently flying. Ah, oh, I wish I had my four weapons right now. I really wish. Is there another Titan somewhere? 
Did you see how he locked me with two hits? Isn't that crazy? I feel like he just locked me down in like two hits. <laughs> Hit me tw twice with a, with a thing. And now I'm locked even though I'm not even getting shot at by somebody. Okay. He can't aim at me when I'm too low. And now he's losing his resistance so I can do full damage to him now. That is actually a bad idea what he does there. This is actually a really bad idea. Alright. Oh, there's a Titan. There's a Sharanga Titan. Let's see, okay. Starting to fly here. Is the built-in weapon doing something? I don't see a built-in weapon at all. Uh, I, I, I don't see where the built-in weapon is. The description clearly says there is a built-in weapon on the robot. And uh, and it de it fires, it deals, ignores Titan um, resistance or it deals increased damage against Titans. But somehow I'm having troubles even just finding that uh, that so called that supposed built-in weapon. Here we go. And yeah, there is none. There's nothing firing at him. And I, I, I am in 350 meters range. Maybe this is a bug still. Maybe this isn't yet fully implemented into the game. Um, that was the first uh, first session of testing this. Uh, we're gonna keep testing, obviously. Uh, we're gonna make another match. He's face shifting now. All right. Yo, he's looking at me. Uh, but the match is over. Let's jump into another match because I have another setup uh, with atomizers that I want to show you as well. Uh, we did uh, a decent amount of damage, but uh, the uh, other guy with his Titan obviously did more. Um, so let's. Uh, and and by, this was a weird match. Why was the enemy team like hidden in their base? They weren't even coming out. That was awkward. So yeah, um, quick summary. Summary. All right, we have a robot that is similar to a Fenrir on the ground. It has resistance. Uh, but it also bypasses resistance, almost all of it. And it has four medium weapons, which is more firepower than the Fenrir has with two medium and one heavy. So more firepower than the, than the Fenrir, probably a little bit less resistance than the Fenrir, but still really good resistance. But it re ignores resistance, which in today's meta with Titans and many resistant robots is more valuable. Uh, mobility is not the best, but you can fly. Uh, and um, when you fly, you lose the uh, resistance. I'm not sure if you lose the resistance bypass. I think you probably keep that. Uh, but you, you you lose your resistance. That's one thing you definitely lose. And uh, and then you gain... Uh, and you lose two, two weapons as well. So you lose two of your weapons. And let's wait for him to start firing. And that's when I'm going to activate the shield here. Uh, I don't I don't ever see this uh, this supposed... Uh, weapon that you're supposed to have this built-in weapon. I don't know where it is. I've never seen it I'm not even sure if it's there Okay, get, getting behind cover Because this guy is an easy kill again once his absorber shield drops he's gonna be a quick kill look Because he doesn't have the resistance anymore. It's only for the five seconds with the absorber when he's a bit troubling after that no problem anymore Okay, he's coming for me now I'm ready for him because I have resistance. I'm bypassing whatever little resistance he's got left on this thing and BAM! Bye! Uh, there is the- wait, am I getting hit from behind right now? Yeah, I am. This hawk right there is lasering me down. Problem is that- okay, good. I wanna land, but I can't. For a few seconds you cannot land. So he's got- his resistance is currently down. And he's only firing with two weapons. That's pretty good. Starting to heal. I need to kill that Ares finally. He's annoying me. I think the Ares is finally destroyed. Okay. There's a... What is that? Oh, this is one of the Fafnirs. He's walking away. Actually, wait. He's still there. My overdrive is not activated. Dang it! I think some... Oh, I healed myself. That's right. I healed myself past overdrive. Could you help me with that overdrive thingy for a sec? Come on, buddy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Now I'm gonna start to fly. Activate Absorber. And uh, with nearly, nearly double damage now. Or not really double damage, but at least increased damage for sure. We 
you can do a lot. Uh, so, uh, I, I, it, it even says in the description that it bypasses Titan resistance or so, uh, the weapon. Um, but I haven't really uh, fought too many Titans yet. Okay, he's starting to fly. This guy's coming out. Nope, he's also starting to fly. His resistance is gone in two, one, now it's gone. Oh, he landed behind safety though, uh, or behind cover. Good, good move there, buddy. He's got Tarans. Not the best choice for 410 meters engagements, my friend. Okay, we have an Aochun coming up. Okay, I'm starting to land. Woo, okay, I hope the enemy is gonna spawn Titans in now. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah, he's taking full damage in the air, man. That is so crazy. But I believe they imp they imp instantly activate the resistance. Oh, I got the kill. Wow, I almost dropped him. And I'm getting a heal an Odin's heal. That is really cool. That is really awesome. Yo, those atomizers are still... They still hurt. And whenever you need that shield... For example, to stop a Cerberus from hitting you with the ability, like here, see, Boop. his sh his ability went into the into the shield and didn't do anything. And now I'm deactivating my flight because I want all four weapons and I want full uh, full resistance and mid uh, and everything. Okay, here we have the Titan coming in. Okay, I should be ignoring the resistance on this thing. And there's an actual Fenrir. looking at me pretty mean ah oh, no I'm starting to lose weapons okay starting flight where's the built-in weapon Pixonic where is it I don't see it I don't see a built-in weapon I have to land because the Fenrir otherwise will kill me very quickly I, and I am bypassing his resistance I have to cool down my weapons here we go now we're bypassing his resistance see how much damage he's taking for a Fenrir this is this is a little bit weird He's tanking- Wow, he's shielding me! The dude in front of me is actually shielding me. This is awesome. This is really cool. What an awesome dude is he! Uh-ohs. Yo, but we're bypassing those res that resistance here. Activating Absorber. Did I do something about his... Uh, yeah, with my build-in weapon? I don't see any build-in weapon. I'm dead now, finally. Wow, that was a long live that I had, or life. Um, what is this? Oh, it's a Loki. Uh, I don't like Lokis at all. And now I can't aim at him because... Turns out the game is giving me... Oh, now I can. Yeah, take that, Loki. Nice, he's done. <laughs> so yeah, I think, I hope, I hope I was able to explain to you guys how the Fafnir works. Because it is a very, very tricky uh, special robot with a lot of things that come together on it. Um, but overall, it's rather easily explained. Um, you're, you're the strongest brawler on the ground. And when you're in the air, uh, you, uh, you gain an anti-Titan weapon somehow. Which I'm using here, hopefully. I don't know. No, I don't see, I don't see any Titan, anti-Titan weapon. But that's how it works. And this thing looks mighty awesome in the air. Wow. What a brutal machine this is. But the strongest is it is, of course, when you're walking with resistance and resistance bypass. Ladies and gentlemen, very important information for me as well is that yesterday I made a video, a special, a special video. It was something else, World of Tanks video. It took me a whole day to work this out. It would be awesome if you guys could give it a try because so far I believe that the interest was pretty low. Maybe you could g give it a try, just have a look at it and see if, it, if you like it. And of course, you're now going to get the other new content videos from me, which is going to be um, the new Orochi robot and all the new content, right? Those videos are in the making, so uh, you'll, you'll be getting those also. Um, but this was a test server with a new Fafnir. Uh, as you see here, clearly best looking robot in the game. <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll see each other in the next video episode. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Money signing off. Bye-bye.